Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here, and today we'll be taking a look at Proteus. This is a minimalist audiovisual exploration game that was created by Ed Key and David Kanaga. Now Ed and David began collaborating on Proteus back in early 2010 as a spare time project. They have since completed it and the game is seeing its official release on January 30th of 2013. Proteus is described as a game about exploration and immersion in this dream-like island where the soundtrack to your play is created by your surroundings. Now what this means is that as we walk around this world, and there's really not much else to do in this game but walk around, but as we walk around in this world, being present and being near objects such as these plants or little creatures will change the audio response that we're getting. So you're going to notice as I chase this little creature, uh, he will continuously run away and as he does, he's got his own little unique sound to him. It's a dynamic soundtrack, and, the, and this game is not only about exploring, but taking in the sights and the sounds. And here's another great example. We've got some creatures right over here. These little chicken little things, and as I walk up to them, they'll scuttle, they'll scuttle butt away, and they'll make their little sounds as they do that as well. Now, this is easily one of the least gamey games that I've ever featured on my channel. In fact, I, it's hard to say if you want to call this a game or an interactive artistic experiment. You know, obviously visually it's quite simplistic. Uh, they describe it as a distinctive 2D but 3D graphical style with wild shifting palettes that sit somewhere between 8-bit video games and early 20th century modernist paintings. So I suppose that is a, a pretty elaborate description of the visual style. Some would just say the graphics are crap, but but it's it's, <laughs> and that's not me saying it. But I, I know that that response is going to be had. But I think it's important to keep in mind they're going for a very distinctive tone and feel with this game, and I think that they've you know they've hit it where they wanted it to. This isn't supposed to be ultra realistic. It's supposed to be sort of a, a, an old school style, and also mixed with mixed with those. Uh, older paintings from the 20th century. Now again, we're walking around this world and depending on the different things that we're around, there are going to be different audio cues that we take in. And back to what I was saying, while there's no, you know, there's no shooting, there's no racking up a score, there's no collecting achievements or anything like that, but there is still interaction because where I'm located is going to determine sort of what's occurring. So look at these little bouncing things. They're making these little noises, and as I walk towards them, they freak out and disappear. And it seems like everything on this island hates me because it's always trying to be away from where I am. But it, it's it's a good way to sort of have this tempo going, and that if you want to constantly engage with that sound, you can continuously sort of push towards it. Like again, I could keep on chasing these chickens and have that tempo of that, and I could throw in the mix of these little bouncing guys as well. So why don't we go ahead and do that? And we'll just give this a quick listen and I'll stop talking for a brief moment. It's hard, but I can do it. <laughs> so we can get these guys to go, and we can get that guy to go. And again, each with their own unique sound. And I can continue to, continue to chase him, and we've got chickens over there as well. Now, beyond just walking around this island and, you know, being next to the trees or being in the grassy meadows or chasing these little creatures, there's also a day-night cycle and events that occur as well. And the islands themselves are uniquely generated every time. So what's going to happen is whenever you start up a new game, you basically get a new landscape, although certain landmarks and events will be consistent. So this night cycle that's coming up very soon, and in this event that we'll be taking a look at that attributes to this first night cycle, that is consistent. But the landscape of this island has changed every single time I've played it. In fact, this playthrough right here is a unique landscape that I've never seen before. The layout is different. But certain, uh, certain places, like for example, a little mountaintop with these little statue creature looking things, this has always been there as well, but this has been in different locations, and most of the time, actually, in my playthroughs, it's been at the earlier portion of the island, but this one is actually here towards the back. Now you're going to notice that the sun is setting, and we're going to be making our way into the night. So the sun is setting over there on that horizon, and then over here, I'm going to assume that that big blue thing is supposed to be representative of the moon. So back to the discussion of, you know, is this a game? Sort of, but not really. Now this is certainly not something that I'm going to be consistently playing, but I think the experience is quite interesting, and the experience is one that I've actually quite enjoyed. I think this is uh, just a really interesting 
it's so artsy and, and it's really it's really going to be a matter of taste some people will absolutely despise something like this but i think some people this would this will be valuable to some people and that's the reason i decided to feature it on my channel it is a it is a new release and typically i cover new releases but sometimes there are games that i just know for certain i'm not interested in and my fan base wouldn't be interested in either but i think some people would find value in a game like this and more so an experience like this because again i feel this to be more of an experience than it is actually a game. Okay, so now that nighttime is upon us, uh, we're going to be seeing a couple of events. First of all, we've got those rain clouds moving through. It looks like that is passing the island. But notice this gathering of stars. In every single first night cycle, this has occurred. And I'm not sure if these are stars or if they're supposed to be fireflies or something like that. Uh, but this is an event specific to this time of day, uh, time of night rather, um, after the first day that's occurred while in different locations because of the different landscape. This has occurred every single time I've played a, played a new a new a new start of this game so we've got this little thing and you're gonna notice as we get closer the trees sort of start freaking out and there's new sounds that we're hearing with this as well and then what's gonna happen here is besides freaking out those chickens we're gonna walk to the center of this little gathering and I think they do a good job of without descriptive text and without pointing with arrows they do a good job of uh, relaying the information of points of interest obviously this little gathering of these little whatever they are stars or fireflies this is something unique and interesting and something that the players you know naturally going to gravitate towards and and I, again I, I really like what they did with that now as we move to the center the circle is going to get smaller and smaller and then we step in the middle of it and then look at this all of a sudden things are just going a little crazy day and night quickly passing by and then all of a sudden a brand new world so things are much more vibrant now things are much more active things that weren't uh, engaging in the past are now engaging. We've got these little yellow dots on the ground which are creating their own sounds and now we've got these little fly things hopping around and we're going to with this game continue to explore and continue to see new things and have new experiences. What was that? Were those just little bunny rabbit things and then we've got like these little flies over here that guy's over there um so it, it's it, i think it's interesting i think it's unique and it is quite enjoyable i like because i'm such a fan of music i like the dynamic auditory uh, systems within this game and how interactive it is uh you know again based on your relation to objects. I just think that's really neat. And look at this guy. He's one of those little bouncy creatures, but he's got stars around him. So he's just gonna bounce really, really high. Oh yes, look at that leap. That is unbelievable. Now I'm not gonna go too much further in this game because I think the real enjoyment from this title comes from experiencing yourself. So what I would say is that if you're really into music, and if you're really into art, I think that this might be something you're interested in. The systems are everything you've seen. There's walking around. I move around with WASD. You can also move forward by holding left mouse button, move back by holding a right mouse button. There's also a sit command by hitting space bar. You can sit your butt in place. If you just would like to sit down and relax and listen to the sounds around you, you can do that. And they do have an auto run with Q, so you don't have to constantly be holding forward. You can just hit Q and you're automatically going to be moving forward with that. But I think it's interesting, again, I think it's unique, and I find it enjoyable. Now this, once more, isn't going to be a game that I will be playing a ton of in the future, but just to have this experience I think was well worth the price for me. And uh, it's a relatively low cost, I believe it's under $10, I think it was somewhere between 7 and 8 and um, I could be incorrect, but either way I will be giving you a link to check out this game in the description below if it's something that you think you are interested in. So thank you guys so much for watching, hopefully you have enjoyed this look at Proteus, the minimalist audiovisual exploration game from Ed Key and David Kanaga. I like it, it's entertaining, it is certainly an experience, an experiment could be another word for it as well. And uh, it's, it's interesting, to say the least. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. We'll just sit here by the bay with our little crab friends. Hello, crab friends. I think those are crabs. Are they space invaders? <laughs>